This is Barry with Cruising Authority at CruiseTalkShow.com. I'm here in my office and I wanted to introduce my next interview that I did with Mark Perry, who's one of the producers of a documentary called The Lady in Waiting, which is about the SS United States. In fact, after the interview, I want to show you a few things that I brought back from the SS United States that you're really going to want to see. So let's go to that interview now. We're aboard the Queen Mary in the Veranda Grill, and we're here with Mark Perry, who is the producer of Lady in Waiting. And I just wanted to talk with him a little bit about his DVD that he produced. How has it been doing so far? It's done really well. The, the film has been incredibly well received on American public television. We've, uh, we're nearing the end of our two-year license period with them, so the airings have started to fall off. But in May, the rights to the film revert back to us, and we're currently trying to find another commercial outlet like Discovery or History Channel or National Geographic and hopefully get an actual license fee that we could then update the movie to reflect what's actually going on with the ship and hopefully get it back out there again. Well, what is the latest on the ship? She is for sale, and uh, no viable buyer has yet come forward. Um, so we're racing the clock. And the, the film has been one of the most effective tools that we've had in terms of telling her story and getting it out there because most people have never even heard of the ship. And then they see the movie and they think, wow, we can't let that go to the scrapyard. So that's, that's a good thing. How, how can our listeners and people watching the show here uh, get a copy of your DVD? You can go to uh, BigShipFilms.com and just click on DVD. You can also go to ChoicesVideo.net. They are our DVD distributor, um, and you can order them online. Uh, Mark, tell us a little bit about what went into making this, this movie. This was a passion of yours. I understand your, your home is like a, uh, like a shrine to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a little embarrassing. Um, oh, it's <laughs> not. No way. I would you, love that. <laughs> if you see the film, you'll you'll. There are some scenes that were done in my house, some interviews that we did, and we also staged a, a recreation of a United States dinner, which was quite fun. But in terms of what went into making the film, you don't have enough time for me to tell you that story. But well, we was, have had you on our show before, and yes. you did tell us yes. the show. So if you're interested in hearing the whole story, go to our archives, our listening lounge on www.cruisetalkshow.com and, and look for uh, the, the um, show that we did with Mark. And with Bob Radley. And with Bob, yeah, that's correct. The film. the film would not be what it is if it hadn't been for Bob. So, Well, uh, Mark, I know it's uh, very short, but I know, and I know you have to go. Uh, is there any, anything else you'd like to say about um, what the next step is to getting this uh, ship more notoriety, getting a, getting a buyer maybe to, to buy the ship? Well, the United States Conservancy, which is the group that I'm, I'm on the board, um, we're in hyperdrive at the moment. And we've had media hits in the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal. Um, we have working groups in New York and Philadelphia, which are the two cities that we have identified as the most viable places for the ship to be a stationary attraction. And uh, we've recently met with uh, their community board in New York, and they've expressed interest. So the first thing is we have to find a place to physically put the ship, and then, of course, we have to find the funds to, to get it back in shape where people can enjoy it again. Mark, tell us about what else you do. I mean, are you, you're a producer. What, what other projects are you working on? I am a television writer producer. I'm on my third season of Ghost Whisperer on CBS. And last season, one of the highlights of my career, I got to write an episode that was filmed entirely aboard the Queen Mary. Oh. Uh, we did a haunted ocean liner, um, the SS Clarendon, which was a little wink to people who know the movie The Last Voyage, which is what started my passion for ocean liners. And um, that was a great, we, had seven, we shot for seven days aboard the Queen Mary last year and it was it was really really fun and i i worked on brothers and sisters i've worked on party of five and i've been in tv now for 20 years hard to believe mark thanks a lot for being on the show and tell us again the website that our viewers and listeners can go to to get uh, more information about your project well first let me just say thank you very much for having me it's a thrill to be here um it's uh, Big Ship Films, which was Big Ship. The Big Ship is what William Francis Gibbs called the United States. BigShipFilms.com. 
and you can navigate to the DVD page. And you should also check out ssunitedstatesconservancy.org for all the latest information about the efforts to save the ship. Great. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the interview with Mark Perry. It was so fun to sit down with him and talk with him about his project, The Lady in Waiting. It's a documentary about the SS United States. If you haven't seen it, make sure you see it. And also, uh, get a copy of that DVD because you'll really, really enjoy it. Well, as promised at the beginning of the video, I wanted to show you a few things that I brought back from the SS United States when I visited the ship back in 1986 in Norfolk, Virginia. One of the things that I got was really, it's really kind of cool. I got this on the bridge of the ship. It was on the floor among many other papers and things, but this is a log book that keeps track of the fuel oil in tonnage and also the water um, ballast tanks that they had. And uh, it, it keeps track of the salt water ballast and the fresh water ballast. And uh, it's really interesting. And all of the uh, indications are written in pencil. Uh, like this is uh, dated February 8th, 1968. Uh, so this is really an interesting souvenir, interesting book that I collected from the SS United States. And then this is kind of a prized item of mine. Uh, this is one of the 2,000 aluminum vases that were on board the SS United States. Um, the, the ship had these in the staterooms because when the ship would leave New York, for example, they would have, the passengers would often have a bon voyage party. And so their friends and relatives seeing them off would often bring them flowers. And so this is where they would put those flowers in one of these aluminum vases. And I also have one of the SS United States um, uh, life jackets, life preservers. It actually says United States on it. You can see it right there. And it's got all of its stamps of approval and it, all of its ratings, um, the model number. Uh, this is really kind of a neat thing to have, the life jacket from the SS United States. One other thing I wanted to show you was this wooden oven scraper. Now, if you know the history of the United States, William Francis Gibbs, who's the designer of the ship made sure there was no wood on board and if he had his way there would be absolutely no wood on the ship anywhere um it, it was said that the only wood on board were the pianos and the butcher's block but i happened to find this wooden oven scraper in the galley so uh this is kind of a prized item of mine kind of nostalgic uh to have something like this a wooden oven scraper from the SS United States. Well, that's all I've got for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the interview with Mark Perry. And I'm also going to show you a few photos of the SS United States from when I visited the ship back in 1979 and also 1986. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for tuning in again. This is Barry with Cruising Authority at CruiseTalkShow.com.